Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Uncle Gaston. <coughs> Hi, Gaston. I'll be right down. <coughs> oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? <coughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Gast. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <coughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <coughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. <coughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <coughs> and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <coughs> 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 And these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <coughs> oh, look! <laughs> they love their uncle Gaston. <coughs> oh dear. <coughs> oh dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. Because he ate the letter. <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby ladybirds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <laughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. Oh, they're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, 
To make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. <coughs> but looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dum dee dum dee doo, dee dee dum. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. <sighs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> ah! Goodness me! Baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. No, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. How adorable. Little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds, baby birds Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies They're baby ladybirds Baby birds Ruff, 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 ruff Here they are Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three Hmm, there seem to be four now And one of them's wearing a crown Oh no, that's Mummy They've turned her into a baby ladybird Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof! Thank you, darling. <coughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. Rockabye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all. That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh dear, this one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it. What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. What is it, Gaston? He's heard something. 
Well done, Gaston. They found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes, my little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh! <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. <laughs> <laughs>